running against something far bigger and more powerful than them. They took his job away. They walked into his office and they just said, you're not going to be president anymore. He went through the system. And I guess I'll use their term. They were a threat to democracy, right? They took his president. They said, you're out. How about that? Crazy Nancy and a few people, they just said, you're out. But it's a big machine, which is a massive, vicious, crooked, radical left group of people that runs today's Democrat Party. They're vicious. They're smart. They're way left. They're communists, probably. Remember I said we will never be a socialist country, right? Remember? Because I like to say I was right about everything. I was right. We skipped socialism. We went down to communism, remember? Right? I think that's Oh, he's saying it. The man down here is saying it. But this is the real group that we're fighting. We're fighting a, a group of, like an amorphous group of people that seem to be invisible, but they're not invisible. These are the people who are doing such harm to our country with their open borders policies, record-setting inflation, the Green News scam for $93 trillion. They want every building in Manhattan to not have windows anymore because they think it's environmentally friendly. It'd be very interesting. How do you sell an apartment? Let's see. I want to buy a beautiful apartment. It's got no windows, but it's environmentally friendly. Now, these are sick people, but we're not going to let this bullshit happen any longer. We're going to have the biggest victory in the history of our country on November 5th, and we are going to make America great again, and we're going to do it fast. On top of it all, Kamala says she would do nothing differently from Joe Biden. She said it. No, no, I would do nothing differently. You know, we lost 325,000 children. Do you know that? Think of it. You never hear it from the fake news. They don't talk about it. They don't talk about the Afghanistan travesty. We lost 325,000 children. They're either dead, probably never be found again, sex slaves or slaves. And they were brought into our country through her open border. 325,000. That's big stadiums filled up many, many times. Take a look at this, please. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? There is not a thing that comes to mind. I stood there on the tarmac watching you check your watch. The chaotic and deadly U.S. evacuation from Afghanistan stunned Americans and the world and cost the lives of 13 U.S. soldiers. Would you have done something differently? There is not a thing that comes to mind. More than 13,000 illegal immigrants convicted of murder have been caught at the border and then released into the United States. An Afghan national is in custody today after being accused of plotting an election day terrorist attack. The suspect entered the U.S. on a special immigrant visa. Not wrenching new details in the murder of Georgia nursing student Lakin Riley. The illegal immigrant suspect, who cops say committed the heinous murder, is a Venezuelan national who crossed the unsecured southern border back in 2022. Two men investigators say are in the country illegally from Venezuela are charged with capital murder and the death of Jocelyn Nangaray. A fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. Would you have done something differently? There is not a thing that comes to mind. Only 18% said the economy is in excellent or good condition. U.S. inflation has hit a new 40-year high, increasing by 9.1% over the financial year. Authorities saying train day Aragua, which has been linked with more than 100 criminal investigations here in the U.S., has now been found operating its criminal enterprise in apartment complexes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. So you get the picture. You get the picture. It's not a pretty one. Pennsylvania, if you want to end this disaster, you must get out to vote. Everybody here, I appreciate the ones that voted, but just get out to vote. And you can start by also voting for David McCormick. He's a great gentleman. He's a great gentleman. I told him to go and make another speech. He's making a speech. I said, I will represent you. This guy is a winner. He was a wrestler, too. He wasn't as good as these guys, but no. who is? Not too many people, I don't think. But 
He was a wrestler. He was very successful in business, in school. He was top of the line. He was the top of everything. And he's running against a guy that doesn't do a damn thing. He's been there forever. And David McCormick is really fantastic. We're also pleased to be joined today by Congressman Glenn G.T. Thompson, who's a winner, a champion. He's a champion. Thank you very much, Glenn. Thank you. Great job you do. And another one, another great patriot. He loves the Commonwealth. He loves this, the country. Congressman John Joyce. Thank you, John. Thank you, man. And a woman very respected in Washington and everywhere she goes, frankly. She's, she's on the uh, strong side. I want to say strong. She's a strong person, kind of strong personality. But isn't that a good thing? We need some of that. But she's a very, very special person, and she's really a very good person, too. Marjorie Taylor, Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene. And we have some special, you know, some special people, because I really respect winners. So do you. We like to have a couple of them leading our country. Wouldn't that be nice? But we like to have winners. And we have with us a team that won like 11 out of the last 13 national championships. And they're the current national champion. They are the USA national champions in wrestling. And I would like to ask them, I don't know if this platform can hold them because that's a lot of muscle. You know, muscle is much heavier than fat. They tell me, fellas, is that right? But I'd love to have the team come up here and we can just say hello to them. These guys are... These guys are something. Wow. That's a lot of muscle. That's great, fellas. Wow. Wow, that's great. Bo Nickel is a friend of mine, fellas. You know Bo? You know Bo, right? He's going to be, he's going up there in December or November, right after the election, actually. Be very interesting, but he's a winner. He's a champ. Come on up, fellas. Look at these guys. Look at these guys.